Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to L.A. Noir. Now, this is a game I've been wanting to play for a long time, guys. I just haven't got the opportunity to. This is a gritty detective story set in 1940s Los Angeles after World War II that talks about all the corruption going on in the city and Hollywood and just all that good stuff you see from the noir genre. And if you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of noir in general. Anything from the detectives of the 20s, 30s, and 40s, all the way to the science fiction noir that you would see from Blade Runner, Shadow Run, Cowboy Bebop, just, it fascinates me. And this is a pretty infamous rock star title. Now, this recently came out as a remastered version on consoles that had all the DLC that the game um, had, as well as a graphics upgrade. And I was going to go ahead and get that, but I checked my Steam list and I actually have the complete version of this game on the PC that has all the DLC, it just doesn't have the graphic upgrade. But I'm running this on the best settings that it can, so hopefully that'll be enough for you guys. And let's go ahead and dive in. Oh, I'm excited. I love Rockstar Games. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car. A symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. City of opportunists. Is that Denethor? The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. City of Dreamers. A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. Well, that's foreboding. It's got so much good stuff in it. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad. Or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Wow. They weren't kidding about that facial tech. Hold RT, L to steer. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless L there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Okay, I'm just reading the instructions there. Oh, this is just like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> but it's actually not like Grand Theft Auto. It's a very different style game. Alleyway crime scene, 10, 12 p.m. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. 
I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got I'm out of here. To be. Happy hunting. Hell this is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Now, I heard that this game is open world like GTA, but has a lot of different areas that you can, like, investigate. Music will fade down to indicate that all clues at a location at have been discovered. Jump. Musical chimes, controller vibration. What was that? Okay. A chime or a magnifying glass icon. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Oh. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. All right. In that intro, you saw a whole bunch of references to 1940s America. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? He had the actor who played Denethor and who voiced Scarecrow. He was in Fringe too. I don't know his name. Press L to select an object. Jesus. Ah. Cole, come take a look Not at this. Help. Doing all the real estate stuff. And they had, I guess that may have been Howard Hughes and the Spruce Goose. Or at least Not the everything here is going to be relevant. Oh. I tell you I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Alrighty. Shrink says the mind is the final frontier. These are the voyages? We're never gonna find it. Press it's a waste of time. A to see the story behind the headline. The Human Mind Medicine's Final Frontier. Dr. Harlan Fontaine speaking at USC. Lecture tour continues at Keck School, USC. Los Angeles Inquisitor, December 23rd, 1946. So this is right after World War II. Oh, flashback. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hand. Shift. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot together. Yes, doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton, and your penance for your friend's help is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. So this isn't a flashback. It's just, or it is, but not very far back. I love the spinning newspaper. Okay. That was cool. Um, sure this means much. Very melodramatic acting style, I have to say, but the facial graphics are awesome. The fact that it's kind of mixed in with the the old GTA graphic style of how people moved and everything is kind of interesting. Insta-heat. Oh, we can actually... Oh, we can look up too. 
Lots of infamy in this game. A lot of people expected this to be a new Grand Theft Auto. Apparently it was anything but. And there was also... Oh, that blood splatter might be a clue. It also had apparently one of the most unlikable protagonists that Rockstar ever did in this guy. Okay, he's kind of like the opposite of John Marston. Well, let's see what we got here. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Indeed. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Press back to open the notebook. Ah. People, clues, location. Cases upon reflection. Wilshire to police to state or station division si seven. Ralph Dunn is my partner. Cool. They even have the detail. Look at his fingernails. And the pencil itself. Holy crap. Scooter Payton. Negro male murder victim. Shot twice point blank. Murder suspect. Tall Caucasian male. Described by witness. I mean, he uses the jargon from back in the day. Detective Floyd Rose. Homicide investigator. First on scene of shooting. Clues. Bloodstain. Blood splatter stains in recessed doorway on alleyway floor. He's a good sketch artist. Alleyway crime scene. 1517 Jesse Street. Alleyway scene of ambulance shooting. Oh, this is so good. Intuition. Intuition points are gained as you earn experience and rank. Use intuition points to aid your investigation. Next rank. Oh, so we have levels. Interrogation's a big part of the game, too. Ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial, the warehouse to district by the river. KGPL called 16 William requesting an evidence search. 16 William is a detective car out of Central. The homicide squad are in attendance. Must be a dead-end call or they would never pass on it. Huh. Okay, let's listen for more dun-dun-duns. I saw some flashing light up there. Oh. Oh, it was the same thing. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Right. Reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. I... All right, don't hurt yourself. I didn't see it. I heard a dun dun dun. Oh, it's reflecting over there. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So is there anything? The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Move toward a drain pipe to climb it? Oh, that is so dangerous. Alrighty. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith & Wesson, serial S71893. Hmm. Two rounds fired. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Press B to put an object down. Oh, you got your fingerprints all over it, Cole. Follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Music's. I, th I think it said music stops when all clues are found. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Well, hold on. The music is still going on. We might be able to find... Whose gun this... Ooh, cigarette. Doesn't look like anything. Ah, that would have been a big clue in a home story. 
I'm going to ignore the bottles because I assume that that's all over the place. I assume we're going to have a lot of red herrings in this game. And it won't let me look at the garbage. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. What else is that? What else is there? Um, my yeah. partner. Yep, that's junk. <laughs> what are you doing? Apparently, we have an interesting partnership. Now, can we actually... Ah, oh, we can run. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little Boy Scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. Bob Ross. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Wake up, Cole. Okay, n guess not. Gonna make a ha paint a happy little blood spray. Well, our partner's heading back to the car, so maybe that is the only thing that we can... I'm playing this with a controller, which means the controls are probably going to be a little bit sluggish, but I kind of wanted to go for the full L.A. Noir experience, and since this originally came out on console, controller it is. And... Why didn't enter the vehicle? Do we get radio? No? We get gun store. 367 South Central Avenue. Guns and ammunition sales. Downtown outlet. Oh, cool. We got a waypoint. Oh! Okay, like, we can't kill anyone. Because we are officers of the law. Now, this game is apparently really infamous for being incredibly finicky with its graphics. So, I mean, even on high-end machines, you have to start fiddling around with graphics settings. So, I am noticing some very interesting little graphical, let's just say, character glitches. I'll probably play around with the settings a little bit later, but I've got everything set out to max. But when I was looking online, it's, it didn't matter if you had, like, a modern computer. This game was still going to act finicky. So I do apologize about that, guys. So we should... I don't know if, if uh, off-road is going to work for us in this jalopy. Oh, here we go. Shooting gallery. Open 24 hours. Huh. Okay. Gold handled doors allow you to enter. Oh. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No. I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. Well, he's helpful. It's about something bad, right? The, one, the gun that Patton used had a longer barrel than that. That was more of a snub nose. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Oh, that's cool. We get to first name, last name, address, item, 27. 27 nickel checkered walnut grip. That's not it. 27 polished nickel pearl grip. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Thank you, sir. Can we look around your store? Ooh, you got a basement. Rifle range. Oh, we can test out our stuff. I guess, maybe? 
can't go into the changing rooms. Whoa. Um. I don't think this is going to help us. Uh, you think? Duck hunt. And I just heard a bottle crack outside. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Schroeder's apartment. 203 South Gless Street, apartment residence of Errol Schroeder. And I guess we go this way. Access the map via the pause menu. Oh, there is a map. Okay. Zoom out. Oh, he is way over here. Los Angeles River. I wonder if this is, like, historically accurate. Holy crap. That is a very large area. Okay. Well then. It's the next right. Fourth Street. Okay. Go straight over the intersection. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. We really are full of them. This actually represents a very interesting time in Rockstar's uh, progression because both this game and Red Dead were known for a lot of graphical glitches but really solid story uh, storytelling and gameplay. Go straight over. Uh, yeah, no. Almost there now. So you press X to get directions, sometimes inaccurately, from your partner. Schroeder's apartment, 10.46 p.m. Look at those signs. Wait, hold up. What we got here? Cola King? I think this has, like, Rock... Al Lewis and Company? Yeah. One of the best things about Rockstar Games is their attention to detail. Uh, Moxley's widest range at lowest prices... There's all these brands. Combs Automotive Company, used cars. It just makes the world seem a little bit more legit. And there's a gold handle. I haven't even been... Can we go into any of the other buildings? That's a good way to get around that. Just gold handles. Gold handles only. Inspect a mailbox to learn your suspect's apartment number. Schroeder, apartment two. Indeed. And is that apartment one? Guess we're going upstairs. Can we go into a first person view? Uh, I guess we can't. Or I just wasn't paying attention. Three, four, and two. What is this? Oh, that's the electrical box. Okay. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Uh, LT to brawl. You ready, tough guy? A to punch. Uh, oh. X to block. A very bad move. Oh, you can do combos. Nice. Why to perform grapple? 
Nice headbutt. Good job, Ralph, Cole. You all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Well, at least you kept your hat. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Oh, cool. All right. Well, I guess a good place to check would be the drawer that's open, and suspicious green notebook. Artie Rosenberg, nine four forty six. 50? Summers, 9 11 46, 20. Frank. I don't know what this means. I guess those could be money amounts. Leroy Tate. Dope. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. He's the detective. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. <laughs> Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. There's some corruption going on here. Interesting. Well, not really interesting, but expected. Now this is a proper flashback. Looks like they're getting set up for basic. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for- I know why you're here, asswipe! I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Well, no one got Private Pile status, at least. Interesting. Armed and dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a greyhound ticket to Palookaville. <laughs> It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. BFI suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Okay, right before I crash into that car, this looks like a good place to stop. I think we're going to be graduating from uh, punching to shooting here, and I guess we'll find that out at the beginning of the next episode. Really liking it so far. I'll play around with the graphic settings, see if I can get the game to run a little bit smoother, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know I am. But if you guys like the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.